Today we are busting 15 myths in Fortnite, like can you fly a log in a tornado? What about opening a vault with a frog? Or what happens when a tornado ends? Yes, tornadoes are about to be released in Fortnite, and a lot of people are wondering how they work. More specifically, what happens to all of the items once the tornado goes away? Well, we got you covered. So, this is the end of our tornado and it just disappears and everything that was in the storm just drops and a big shout out to pq who actually recorded all of the tornado myths early so yeah it turns out that the tornado actually does leave things behind once it disappears myth confirmed can you get into the vault without unlocking it there was a glitch that people have been using since the early days of chapter 2 in order to sneak into the vault without needing any kind of scanner or key card where basically if you took a boat right over a vault and just drove into a wall like this eventually you just kept getting in and out Hey, it worked! Let's go! Okay, we're probably gonna have to figure out how to get out of here, but yes, myth confirmed, you could actually get a vault without even opening them. Do trees have aimbot? Okay, this myth absolutely blew my mind. There's a rumor floating around in the community that all of those clips where people shoot down trees and get a kill are actually scripted. And by that, I mean trees apparently have aimbot, so we just had to test this myth out. Okay. It did perfectly hit him. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty convincing. Let's double check. It's confirmed! Trees have auto-aim! Can you do traversal emotes while web-slinging? A couple seasons back, we learned that there was actually a way to use emotes while riding on zip lines, and it looked amazing. But it seems like Chapter 3 might have taken things to a whole other level. Okay? It works! You get emote while web-slinging. Myth confirmed! LeBron better watch out, man. I might be the best upcoming basketball player now that I could use a web-slinger in it. <laughs> this is so weird. Can presents be used as traps? Alright, let's try it out. I got him. <laughs> I trapped him in there. <laughs> uh, are they trying to get out? Hang on. What if I try to run away? Okay. Yeah, they get out. Myth busted. <laughs> well, that was kind of underwhelming. Don't worry though, because we're going to take it up a notch. What happens if you trap the foundation? Oh, there he is. So let's see what happens. Hey, he just breaks out of it. Kind of expected this one to work, but oh well, myth is busted. I think we were all pleasantly surprised when Epic did a Matrix collab last month and straight up dropped a bullet dodge emote. But the biggest question on everyone's mind was, is this emote pay to win? All right, I'll shoot you right in the neck. Okay, so we're taking damage exactly here. Now do the emote. You're taking no damage because of the emote. Yeah, I can shoot your hand just barely. Okay. I'm gonna get real low. Oh, it worked! That's so cool. So yeah, you can dodge snipers, red dots. Yeah, the emote is slow, but it does change your hitbox, so myth is confirmed. Can you open vaults with a frog? And I'm gonna tell you, if there's one myth in this entire video that absolutely killed us, it was this one. People have been testing all kinds of different ways to open vaults, from sharks to chickens, but there's one thing left untested, frogs. We let a frog over 500 meters across the map using fishing rods, and we were so close to giving up and then finally got this guy to a vault. Let's see, we just need to get him over here. Come here, Mr. Frog. Is it gonna work? <laughs> Myth confirmed it works! It actually works! <laughs> no, no Frogs way. can help you open vaults. Now that is insane. Does Sergeant Winter's truck have unlimited fuel? When you've come across the Sergeant Winter Christmas truck, it's pretty tempting to just straight up carjack this guy. But usually when they hop out and you steal the truck, it has a fuel meter and it sucks. But there's a rumor that claims you could kill them while they're driving and it gives you unlimited fuel. Three, two, one. Go. All right, driver is dead. You gotta get that guy, man. Look at the fuel gauge on it, though. It's just like green. Oh, you have unlimited fuel? Well, hang on, because if I boost, I wonder it fully recharges. There is no fuel for this. How about my <laughs> Christmas spirit, okay? <laughs> oh, I just exploded. Yeah, Santa's been shooting at you the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, technically myth confirmed. Can you attach the rockets with web slingers? Okay, there are some weird things you can web sling on in chapter three. Fishing holes literally let you swing around them and rifts are also attachable. But neither of these things are moving objects. So we went to battle labs, turned on high explosives and tried to web sling on an RPG. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it worked. It worked. Wait, why are we all the way at the ground though? This is, oh, oh I'm flying now. Hey, this is a rotation track. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is so cool. Oh, we fall off. 
Hey, let's go. Myth confirmed. Can everything get the icy feet effect? Obviously, with chiller grenades back in the game, we all love giving our enemies and teammates the icy feet. But chapter three also has wildlife still on the map. So we thought, do animals get icy feet too? All right, first up, we have chickens. And doesn't look like it's doing anything. What about a llama? Um, it knocks it down, but it doesn't work. Does it work on boars? And nope, it looks like the chillers only work on players. And of course you can't test the wildlife and not try to see if it works on the foundation. And I don't think anyone expected the results of this one. Okay, and it worked. Okay, it looks like the foundation is the only one. Like he doesn't slide, but he gets the ice cube feet. If he's not sliding, then this one is busted. Can you launch pad Sergeant Winters and does he have a glider? Anyone who watches our myth videos know about the launch pad tradition. It was Sergeant Winters now on the map who better to test it on. Hey, it does work. And he has a glider, that's so cool. Myth confirmed. Can animals launch on these spider webs? All right, can wolves be launched by spider webs? Let's find out. Come on. Oh, <laughs> he went flying. Okay, this one, oh, this one's just full set in it. <laughs> Look at him, it works, myth confirmed. Yeah, those wolves went absolutely fly, kind of funny. Could Santa's helpers still drive their quads if you run them out of fuel? Santa's helpers around the map are some of the kindest and most wholesome guys in all of Fortnite right now, but can they be even more generous? What would happen if we took their quad crasher out for a test drive and returned it to them with no fuel? Would they still be able to drive it? So I'll just, we'll just waste everything. Thank you so much for being so nice. Okay, we are out of fuel. Okay, so they're getting back on it. And they're still able to drive it fine, even though there's no gas. Yes, if you run it completely out of fuel, they're still able to drive it. Myth confirmed. Can Santa be stopped with armored walls? Okay, two, three, four, and five. He is completely obstructed and he's coming. Okay, hang on. Oh man. Oh, he's driving slow. This is so anticlimactic. <laughs> He stopped. Uh, it stopped. worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Oh, no, he's dude. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> I, he's smart. He, he managed to figure it out. But uh, technically, myth confirmed. It did stop him for a little bit. Can you ride a log in a tornado? Well, we have our log right here. We're standing on it. And it looks like it sucks you up, but it also does suck the log up. Now we tried to try it, and this myth is completely busted. You cannot ride the logs, although it almost looks like you can. I mean, look how close you can get to it. And finally, can you heal quad crashers? Back in season eight, we tested if you could heal UFOs with a campfire and it actually worked. Now it only healed by two ticks per second, which kind of sucks. So we wanted to see if you could do the same thing on a quad crasher. So with a campfire, it looks like it works. Okay, cool. Yes, you can, myth confirmed, but let's go one step further. What about with chug splashes? Uh, doesn't look like it. I mean, the chug splashes don't work, but the fact that they updated the campfires to actually heal vehicles now, that is amazing. Myth confirmed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.